Actuarial science is a budding industry in the Philippines. But despite being in the top 5 highest paying jobs, only a few know about this profession. Therefore, this documentary seeks to inform people more about the profession and the road to being an actuary. What does an actuary do? Depends on organization. Eh. Okay. Okay. For example, ako, I work for a life insurance company. Insurance company. So, for life insurance company, uh, the main responsibility is we come out with products to sell to the you know, to the public. So insurance products. For insurance, there are only two types of companies. Uh -huh. One is the life. The other one is the what we call non-life. So all types of insurance, an actuary is involved. Uh, basically, it determines yung the product. Yun nga, yung whether we insure the car, the, the house, or the life, no? or the health, no? Either okay. health insurance. And then, the actuary prices it, meaning it determines how much is the premium. Magkano okay, ibabayad mo? An actuary is really someone who, ano, who employs mathematical tools to uh, quantify risk. Risk is uh, termed as any variance no? in our speak. Uh, whatever is um, in excess of the expected value that you that you measure, that's really a risk. So it can be monetary in nature. Uh, we're basically trained to have uh, to quantify those risks and the impacts uh, financials the company. But more than that, we use also theories. We use extensively data. And uh, sometimes there is professional judgment. Mm -hmm. So we are also in different areas. You know, we're just not limited to, to insurance. Actually, the role of an actor has already expanded through the years. So, so you will see an actor, I think the initial perception of an actor is more on numbers, mm -hmm. you know, generating reports and whatnot. But uh, if you will see, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, different kind of factories, there's product actory, marketing actory, valuation actory, and now we're also going into risk or enterprise risk management, so more of focusing on um, looking at after a different kind of risk that an enterprise is looking at. So various functions that an actory do, so it depends on what kind of specialization you want to go into, but it's good that you have um, exposure on if each of these, each of those um, I've mentioned earlier for you to become a well-rounded actor. Okay, so basically actually uh, is involved in the quantification of risks and in the quantification of uh, Possibilities in the future. This also applied in insurance company. It is applied in insurance company. In the practical pension, uh, pension for retirement, retirement benefits. This in insurance company. Uh, usually the products that are sold are long term in nature, and it involves a lot of risks. The other one is. When you have sold policies or insurance products, you have to monitor. You have to monitor whether you have enough reserves to you have enough reserves to uh, uh, to be able to, uh, to be able to support uh, the benefits that you're going to make in the future. So part of the actuarial uh, work is really to to uh, to set up. Uh, for the hotel management, the amount of reserves to be set up is this much or that much. So there's various specialization in the actuarial field. We have the products, meaning you develop products, you price products for the insurance company. There's valuation, you value the company and its liabilities. There's also risk, that's where I am now. We will take a different, different look in how not just the opportunity loss but also opportunity gain so that's risk we also have retirement 
we have specialization for retirement. Mm -hmm. And actors really are there to manage the risk of a company. So even though I said it's risk for everything, it's really risk. What are the skills professional and personal an actuary should possess? Basically, you start with your nice quantitative skills. Mm -hmm. uh, you're able to 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 see you know, to see patterns in the say the experience. Mm -hmm. uh, you're able to analyze all the data, and you come up with the with the correct or an accurate estimate of say the probability of of getting sick or probability of uh, a house in uh, say in Taft Avenue sa Manila uh, getting burned because of fire and ba based on past data the doctor should be able to analyze the data and come to conclusions regarding probabilities and uh, and to be able to quantify this in terms of pesos and centavos so analytical skills very important and then so dapat ano ka rin? you have attention to detail and then you have ano ka? Medyo matyaga. Uh, regarding personal skills uh, you should be, be able to, because you also work with people, so you should be good at communicating to people and uh, uh, be able to understand also what they need and for yourself to be able to explain what you're doing. So communication skills is, uh, is very important. So. Exactly. Well, one is you have to have uh, technical skills. Mm -hmm. So you have to be good in math. I'm so sorry, hindi siya, hindi siya negotiable, no? Okay. You cannot be a good actuary if you don't have a good handle on numbers. Uh, that means from calculus to statistics, um, yeah, ganun yung requirements sa kanya, no? And then, also as I've said, you have to have uh, People skills, uh, not a sales, uh, not probably not the sales type na medyo kuelan, but you have to have um, good communication skills. You have to deal with people kasi all the time, so you have to be professional also. Mm -hmm. And you have to have leadership skills because if you are an actuary and you lead people, kailangan mong talagang makuha yung kanilang support, no? and that's really where leadership skills. Uh, come in. You cannot be very, very good and just work alone. Mm -hmm. So you really have to be able to work with people. I guess uh, they are keen to details. Um, uh, basically, hindi takot sa numbers. Okay. <laughs> Yun yung pinaka first. And uh, I, th uh, I think in terms of discipline, in terms of managing your time, especially if you're taking the actual exams, and at the same time, you also have to um, do your work at the office. So it's balancing uh, your work versus your studies and your studies. Actories are usually known to be kind of the introvert type, <laughs> but it's good to have uh, a certain um, Somehow you should be able to adapt to the situation easily in terms of you know, what the situation requires. Sometimes in your job, um, though you're an introvert, but you're forced to be <laughs> sort of an extrovert okay. just to um, build the relationship with, with your uh, customers. Okay, number one, all actually should be mathematically inclined. No? So they, they should be strong in mathematics. So because basically, uh, actuarial work is, is, uh, is about uh, quantification, so it's a quantification of future, future events, risks. 
So it deals basically of probabilities. Probability involving the future. Second, the other, the other uh, what I call skill, by an actuary will now depend on what industry he, he, he is working with, working in. No? So <clears throat> it depends no? on my part. As a consultant, I think uh, it is needed that uh, you should be able to to be able to express or to be able to explain the actuarial valuation results in a manner that can be understood by your clients. Most would say that actuaries lack communication skills, but it is very essential. Why? Why do we lack communication skills? Because most actuaries are mathematicians or statisticians by nature. But to deliver your perspective or the company's perspective, to deliver the numbers, you need to have communication skills. So it's something that new actuaries may not have, but it should be developed through time. And of course, I've mentioned already that you have to be good technically. What advice could you give to future actuaries? Future actuaries. For students, I think you should develop a good study, study habits. Then you should be able to in time management. Not mm -hmm. after, no? Di ba yung exams yan? Opo. <clears throat> Nagtatrabaho ko na eh. Pag, pag nag-exam ka. So, you work and you take the exam. So, you should be able to divide your time. Sa akin, uh, I thought of two. No? One is, uh, in this line of work kasi, you are required to really study. It will take you years to, to be a full fellow. Um, so you have to have a work balance, work life, work study life balance. You, some some of us spend years um, studying mm -hmm. to the detriment of social life. My advice really is for you to have a balance. It's not a race, kasi some of us kasi think of the exams, and we have many exams. We think of it as a race, no? Sinupaunahan. But uh, the reality is, kung natapos mo na yung yung ano, yung ano ngayon, mm -hmm. diba? So, you have to balance uh, work in a way the exams is uh, at pace with the work in the office. The other one is humility, no? Some mm -hmm. of us are really proud to the point of being arrogant. Siyempre, select few, um, minsan talagang maisip mo na, Ikaw lang yung matalino sa group when you talk. No? So, humility is also good. I mean, should also be in mind when you think of uh, knowledge in, na hindi mo pa alam lahat. Ah, it's more of um, really setting your goals. Because um, um, it's easy to be uh, sort of disheartened or to get out of the actuarial career once you face certain failures, especially in terms of taking the exams. Mm -hmm. But in the actuarial field, for you to get to the actuary level, uh, there's still a series of exams that you need to take. So for those who are after, you know, they are excited by challenges, I think it's, it's a good career for them. <laughs> but uh, if you know, basically staying focused what your goals are in life. You set a certain timeline for you for by this age I should be like this mm -hmm. because that would drive you to uh, focus on taking the exam and at the same time gain the experience that you need in your work. It should be a balance of both. Eh? It cannot be extreme that it's all exam or all focusing on work without uh, and basically uh, giving up on the exams. Mm -hmm. It should work both ways for you to get uh, if you want to go up the, uh, the ladder, carpet ladder. Okay, so number one, uh, of course you have to become an actuary first. Okay, so to the, to the actuarial students, you have to study. You, know, you have to study to be able to, to become a fellow, to become an associate of the 
Victoria Society of the Philippines or the Society of Actuaries or any, any of the internationally recognized actuarial organizations. Because, so you have to become a fellow. Because it will always make a difference. If you're a fellow versus if you're not a fellow. Second is basically uh, what I said a while ago. Uh, applications. You should be able to learn how to apply things. Uh, apply apply the principles, apply the methodologies. And as I said, it's very important that you're able to to know what is the problem. Now, because the problem is not given. No? So, it's yes, that you should be able to see the problem. And then you solve it. Third one is yeah, related to what I said a while ago. Should be practical. Should be reasonable. Okay? We do not just um, we do not just go in the numbers. Okay? We should be able to explain why the numbers are there. Why the results are high, why the results are low. Uh, we should be able to explain that. I think it is important. That professional should always consider the reasonability of those of the results. I think um, for actuarial aspirants, you should develop the sense of responsibility. Okay, because the products we develop, the benefits we develop for corporations affect the uh, affect the affect employees, affect the policyholders. So there should be some responsibility to them. Love what you're doing. Because if you're not sure if you want to be an actor, mm -hmm. it's something that you don't just jump into. Because a lot of us, when we were younger, we don't know what an actor is. Mm -hmm. And most would just know maybe when they're already at work mm -hmm. or they're graduating when they're looking for a job. So, but love it because it's being like going to med school. Mm -hmm. It takes many years to study and study. You've graduated already from college, you see most of your friends, you're just having nightlife, but you have to really balance everything, your studies and to reach your goals. Yes. The actuarial career is a multidisciplinary profession. You need to excel both in mathematics and language and to also be knowledgeable about the different aspects of the insurance industry. In dealing with clients, an actuary should not only be able to provide the needs of their customer, but also to be able to explain the process and product that they present. Moreover, the road to be a fellow is not easy. It requires hard work, discipline, and perseverance. But no matter how difficult the hardships may seem, the rewards and satisfaction of being an actuary will be worth it.